gonna do a little activity. We're gonna draw a beach profile. So what is a beach profile? A beach profile is if you were looking at the beach, not this way, but long ways. So what we'll do is if you guys could get a piece of paper, draw your beach profile, how you think the beach looks. You can put dunes in there, trees, waves, sand, shells if you want. Um, it's all up to you. So what I want you to do is draw that beach profile and then after that we're going to draw a nest where you put your nest site and then or we're going to pick where you're going to put your nest site and then we'll draw a nest. Alright, you guys all done? I'm finished with mine. Does yours look like mine? So if you look at my beach profile, I went a little fancy and did a moon. You guys can do whatever you want. Um, so I have the waves here, have some crashing waves, got the surf, and as you come up, it, as you can see it gets a little higher in elevation. So you have these dunes here that are forming. You have these really big dunes that have been in formation for a long time. And then back beyond those dunes you have the maritime forest of Hunting Island. So if you were a sea turtle, uh, where would you guys pick to put your nest? So if I was a sea turtle, what I'm going to do, you guys can put an X, you can draw a little turtle if you want. I'm going to put my turtle right here. I'm going to kind of draw her, her little flippers. So if you look, if we were far down here, this wouldn't be a good place for her nest because it could get washed over. Um, and the sand's pretty wet here. This would be okay. Um, maybe not if there was a storm. Uh, sea, turtle, sea turtle patrol might have to move this. So what we want is we want a sea turtle nest above these dunes, not too far over here. That would be bad. Um, but you want to be in these dunes so it would stay nice and dry. Um, if there was a storm to come up, the storm wouldn't wash over your nest. Alright guys. So the second thing I want you to do is draw a nest egg chamber. You can do it however big, however small you want. Uh, it's up to you. So where you're going to draw that, your beach profile, you'll draw it in the space where the sky is. So. so if you would, just draw what you think it should look like. Alright guys, so uh, if you don't mind just showing your nest to your neighbors and seeing what they did different from yours. What's different? Is uh, this part longer? Uh, do they have more eggs than you? Are there, is this part kind of shorter? What does it look like? Too far 
back here where the trees are because remember we have those predators back here in the woods like raccoons, coyotes, even things like armadillos um, and fox. They can get into the nest, uh, dig up those eggs and they have more of a chance of being concealed back here in the woods. So um, you still have a chance of predation on the beach like raccoons and ghost crabs but uh, a little less of a chance until turtle patrol can get to the nest in the morning and uh, protect it. Alright guys, so now we're going to be sea turtle researchers. So once the turtle lays to her nest, uh, we wait usually about three days to inventory the nest. So you guys are going to get your loggerhead lane nest inventory sheets out and I'll kind of walk you through what we're going to do. Uh, so name the turtle researcher, put your name, or if you guys are working in groups, you can put the group name. Um, of course, location, we did that for you, Hunting Island. Uh, nest number, you guys can put whatever nest you want. Hopefully one day Hunting Island will have like 300 loggerhead nests, so you can put whatever number you'd like. So, number of hatch shells. So, we have hatch are the squished ping pong balls. So, squished, um, I've laid them out in groups of five for you guys. Now, we've got number of unhatched shells. So, we've got them over here. Then we're going to go to number of live hatchlings. Those guys are over here. As you can see I've got them uh, looking at you with their little shells on top. And then the number of dead hatchlings, which are these guys. So what we do, I put them in groups of five for you guys. shells 
you want to see all those turtles get out on their own. But what we'll do, if there are uh, babies, live babies in the nest, uh, we'll put them in a bucket. If there are people out here, we usually educate them about them. And then if it's safe to let them go, usually at dusk, we'll let them go. And the two we have, uh, the dead baby sea turtles, unfortunately, that's the worst thing to see in the nest. A lot of times they get caught up on the bottom. Um, their brothers and sisters may have been very eager to get out of the nest um, and they usually get trapped at the bottom. Um, so that's a lot of times that I've seen that. So, But hopefully, uh, like I said, what we want is a bunch of hatch shells, uh, which means they may